I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. I take a lot of pictures using my iPhone 4S. The picture quality is beautiful, but like many people, I have issues with organizing my pictures and them taking up a lot of space on my iPhone. A Canadian company, Syrup, has developed an app to help with these problems. It's called Cloud Photos, and as the name suggests, it has to do with cloud storage. But that's not all. Now, before I go any further, you do need Dropbox on your device. It's free storage up to two gigabytes, so it doesn't cost you anything. So let's get into what this app does. In a nutshell, when you take a picture, it's automatically saved to the cloud storage using Dropbox. As the company states, you'll never have to worry about losing your mobile photos again. So you may be asking, I can just add the stuff to Dropbox without this app. Yes, but this does it automatically for you and in a nice way. Now, when you launch the app, you're given a screen that shows your photo folders in the cloud, Dropbox, and your folders on your device. To make a new folder, you simply tap on the bottom left icon. This brings up the keyboard for you and you name it. When done, it adds the folder automatically to Dropbox. Now it's time to take pictures. You'll notice along the bottom is the camera icon. Now this launches your camera and the designers at Syrup have added some nice camera controls. You can switch between the front and rear camera, you can change the flash settings, and you can lock the white balance, the focus, the exposure, and even bring up a grid. You'll also see along the bottom a cloud icon. Now that tells you where the picture is going to be saved. To change the folder, just tap on it and pick the folder you want the photo saved into. You can see this is a great app already for organizing your pictures. You decide where it's going to be saved even before you take the picture. So once the picture is taken, it starts uploading it to Dropbox. In the settings, you can set this to only work on Wi-Fi or you can upload via 3G as well. What's really nice about Cloud Photos is when it's saving it to your phone, it's saving you space. It's actually only saving a thumbnail of the picture for you on your phone. Now the picture still looks great when you open it, but it's saving you up to 40 times the amount of space. Of course, if you want the full-size picture, all you have to do is go into Dropbox and there it is, the full-sized file. So you're saving a lot of space on your iPhone. Another neat feature with this app is the ability to move photos around to different folders. You can just tap on the folder and then tap on the picture. The options along the bottom allow you to copy the photo to a different folder, move the photo to a different folder, or you can tweet it, email it, print it and of course copy a link or open it in another program such as Color Splash. Now, if you go back to the folder, you have similar options of copying and moving, but you can also share a link to the folder. This way you can share your photos with your friends, family, and others. No need to burn disks or send pictures one by one, give them the link and they can have access to them themselves. You can also do private share. This is really neat and it allows others to add their own pictures to the folder you've sent them. So when a picture is added, Cloud Photos will notify you and anyone else who's added to this list. This can be really cool if you're at an event or vacation or somewhere where you and others might be taking a lot of pictures. You can sync them all together. There are just so many possibilities. I really like the idea of Cloud Photos and I plan on using it more. It's simple and is a really cool way not only to back up your pictures but to keep them organized from the moment you take the picture. I think the team at Syrup has a really cool app with Cloud Photos and I highly recommend you give it a try. For more daily iPhone and iPad news, check out iPhone in Canada and iPadinCanada.ca and make sure to subscribe to my channel here so you don't miss any of my future videos. This is Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.